Welcome guys to the uh, Cross Tour Tony channel again. In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, CD or Sidey, however you pronounce it. I've got a big dog walking down there, probably can't see him. Why I brought CD Armada Adventure Boots. Let's get into this video guys. So number one. After getting wet feet in Norway I came home and I said I'm going to have to buy some new waterproof boots. So I was looking on the internet and my first criteria was of course waterproof boots. And to be waterproof 100% you're going to have to use Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex in there. Do I do it this way or this way? But anyway the second point fellas, they have a good thick sole. Now I'm a bit short in the legs so this has given me another half to a centimetre length on my boot so I can touch the floor easier. A decent bit of tread. Now these have got a chunky tread, they're like a pair of caterpillar boots for working on the building sites. Sidey say these are non-slip, they're um, oil resistant and everything like that. I had a bad experience with the other boots on one of the ferries in uh, Norway. It was pouring with rain of course and one of the uh, hydraulic rams was leaking, there was oil all over the deck and I could hardly stand up in those boots. This is the protection they provide. As you can see here, we have a lovely hard piece of plastic going up there to, to protect your ankle and your, uh, what, is, what is your first bones called that come up from your ankle? Whatever they're called, that's what it is. It protects them and on the inside, a molio, molio, I don't know. Anyway, and, that, and there's one both sides, you see. So your foot is really protected there. And we can see a really sturdy piece of uh, like an ABS, I don't know what it's called, it's like a plastic anyway. And that's going to protect the back of your shin. And we also have this little piece of protection that's going to protect the, what is it, the instep, the, out, the outside of your foot, the side of your foot. If you, if you drop the bike or your foot's under it, that's going to protect there. They've also got the protection if you've got a manual bike for the gear lever. Even that, That's a right side boot, so if you've got a right hand drive <laughs> gear box, so it works on both sides. I didn't go for the cheapies because the last ones were cheap and now uh, they're not expensive. You can get much more expensive than these. These are mid-range price. Uh, I got these for 260 euros. Uh, I think my feet are worth that so uh, I'm going to keep them dry, keep them aired and uh, protected. For me 260 was good. Anyway fellas that's the reason why I chose the CD Gore-Tex boots and uh, all I've got to do now is uh, get them on my feet and try them out and see how good they are. If by any chance a little bit of off-road comes along, looking behind me, it's too steep. <laughs> so I'm not going up there. But yeah, they, they would grip in this sort of terrain. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the film and sticking with it to the end. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm no uh, professional. I'm no itchy boots, as I've said before, but... Uh, I'd like to share with you my experience, uh, my adventures, the things I'm buying, and uh, whatever. So guys, uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. Who knows, you might find another video coming soon.